Evaluate the view that pressure groups are now far more powerful than parties in the United States political process. In your introduction you should hint that probably not is the answer, as to say they are far more powerful would slightly unrealistic. It is important to note that pressure groups do not put candidates up for election. Nor they have wide-ranging ideologies covered through party platforms and do not cover a wide range of policy areas but usually focus on one specific interest or one single cause. But they do seek access to and influence over the exercise of political power rather than to gain it and run the institutions of government. But why could parties be called weak? What could make them weak? Parties no longer select or fund their candidates. This is done by primaries and the candidates own personal organizations raising funds from many sources apart from parties for electioneering purposes. Parties are not strongly organized in Congress alike in the UK and have no sticks or carrots to make party representatives vote in the same way. I have so many opportunities from this country. I just don't want to see us fall backwards. So are pressure groups more powerful? Pressure groups and their associated political action committees play a large role in elections where they may fund and since the Citizens United case in 2010 make direct and indirect contributions to support or defeat party candidates. Their lobbying activities in Congress K Street Corridor slash Revolving Door are extensive as they try and influence the outcome of the legislative process in Congress and the states. They may refer to iron triangles and influence peddling in favor of special interests rather than the national or public interest. Their membership is growing as the registered support of and identification with parties is declining. There are more people active in pressure groups than parties and evidence, such as the 40 million members of the ARP or the small membership of the NRA, may be given. Robin Kelly, who celebrated her win after acknowledging how much this was a vote on the issue of guns and the issue of the NRA as much as it was a vote on particular candidates. In conclusion, parties and pressure groups are different and the power they exert are not really comparable as they have different aims and purposes. It could also be argued that the elected representatives of the political parties are the only ones that can actually exercise power in the federal and state government and in the branches of those governments. They are actually making decisions rather than simply influencing them. Pressure groups cannot exercise power in the same way, so in that sense, cannot be far more powerful than political parties whose candidates have stood for elective office to gain power to carry out their ideology slash platforms. Pressure groups do not have far more power.
took my love down to Violet Hill. There we sat in the snow. All that time she was silent still. So if you love me, won't you let me know? If you love.